Hi everyone, if this is your first time on my channel, I like to create speed builds in The Sims 4. Today I have a beach house that I designed. Um, it is my first time creating anything like this, so it's I've never used the stilted foundation before. And you know, it's not like it's not designed after any particular style of beach home or anything like that. I was really just kind of experimenting and um, I didn't look at any reference pictures or anything like that. I was just going based on my own imagination and actually the layout or the kind of shape of the house came together based on what I remember from going to Washington and I went to Washington with a friend who had a lot of family that lived on a lake. So the lake houses that I saw um, had like the back of the house usually had like two areas that kind of protruded out towards the lake and was covered in windows so you can see you know all the views and everything like that so I was kind of emulating the lake houses when I was building this beach house um, which is kind of ironic because I live in Guam and we're literally like surrounded by beaches but I don't I I've never really been to an actual beach house or anything like that so um so yeah I was just you know going based off of houses that I've seen and I thought it would be nice to have a lot of windows in like towards um, the water area so they could see views from the living room and the family room area and and actually uh, when I was doing the exterior of this house I didn't really have any idea as to how I wanted the layout to be inside but I knew like for the for like the living room and kitchen and dining room and everything I, I knew I wanted to be more of an open floor plan because you know with all those windows I figured it'd make more sense if um if they could see the windows like from like the whole area you know what I mean of the like living space like even though the kitchen's towards the front of the house away from the water they could still look out the windows through uh, like at the living room um because they're so big and it's just like a big open space so yeah, so I just saw, you know, I wanted, I knew I wanted there to be a, like an open floor plan and I wanted to have more than just two bedrooms because I imagine that the family that lives in this house has, uh, you know, a bigger family and, um, and like are on the wealthy side of the spectrum, I guess, you know, so it could be kind of like either their vacation home or just their beach house, like they live there, you know what I mean? So, um, and you can see that it's built on Key Point. It's one of the kind of like private islands in Sulani in the game. So uh, I figured it made more sense to have a bigger house. Like, you know, people obviously with money would be able to live there on their own little private island. And, you know, like I said, it's a big house. It's for a family of five. There's three bedrooms and then there's two full bathrooms and one half bathroom downstairs. Like it's like the laundry room slash half bathroom. And then I wanted two full bathrooms upstairs. One is off the parents master bedroom of course and then the other ones um, between the two kids rooms so that they have that bathroom to share. When I was creating this house though I did take my time with it uh, mostly because I didn't want to try to rush it and have it you know just look really crappy <laughs> but um i also i was kind of taking a break because i've been creating a lot of these videos like every single day for the almost two weeks now it's mostly because when i first started this channel i knew i wanted to create a bunch of different videos at first because i wanted anyone who came across my channel to have more than just one or two videos to watch so i was like really pushing out these videos one after the other like every single day i had a new video that i would post up right and um, I mean this is my 13th video and so after I posted my 12th one you know I was like okay I'll do another one but I'm not gonna rush it I'm not gonna like really try to get it out there the next day or anything like that so I you know I, um, I spent like all day yesterday just kind of relaxing with my family watching Tiger King <laughs> I know it's like a big thing everyone's um, talking about it and honestly we were we were actually putting it off because some people have been talking about oh Tiger King this Tiger King that you gotta watch it whatever and we're just kind of like ugh, like we didn't want to you know um, I guess get in on the whole craze of it or whatever but we we finally did watch it and honestly it's crazy <laughs> like if if you watch it I mean there's just so much 
I don't know. I, I can't even explain it. You just gotta watch it for yourself if you're interested. But uh, part of the reason we watched it, though, is because um, my son, my older son, loves animals. I mean, all of my kids love animals, but um, my first son is really into, like, documentaries about um, animals and everything like that. So we thought it would be interesting to watch this and see exactly what it was about. But yeah. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I was giving myself a little bit of a break from creating um some content for my channel but at the same time you know I didn't want to get lazy about it so I, I still wanted to create something but I just like I said just kind of took my time with it I mean to finish this build from start to finish it took me almost six hours and um or something like that almost six hours but I didn't rush editing the footage and all that like uh because again I was just like eh, I already have 12 videos up that should keep people busy for now and I'm also trying to think of what I should do next like what kind of build I should do next because I want to come up with more interesting ideas like not just do random you know houses all the time like I I want to have a purpose to some of them and you know whether it's like um, a shell challenge like from other uh, sim youtubers or I just want to be able to come up with with a little bit more unique content and actually like there I do have some ideas that I really want to put forward but at the same time I feel like you know anytime I think about something I want to do that I'm like oh this is different this is unique like after a couple days I'll see some other youtuber put up something just like the idea that I was thinking of and I'm like oh my god <laughs> Like I feel like somebody is reading my mind and doing things before I can do it or something like that But I'm kind of trying to come up with Unique ideas and I don't want to you know Just be putting up a bunch of random weird looking houses that no one wants to see or is interested in so um, You know like I've said before in other videos if you guys have anything in particular you are interested in or if you have any ideas um, That you want to see me try to create or something like that. Just let me know but and I'm sorry if you can hear that insanely annoying beeping from my fire alarm detector thing or whatever, but we can't reach it to make it stop. So unfortunately, it's just me making that ugly noise throughout this video. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm uh, as I was furnishing the house, like I, I wasn't really going for any particular color scheme or anything like that. But, you know, of course, I started with the kitchen first. That's what I usually do. And I really like the look of that kind of like sea foam green um like accents here and there so I kind of took that and then um you know like changed the color scheme just a little bit moving through the rest of the house but I still wanted a touch of like slightly green every now and then so like in the dining room I have more of that kind of seafoam green but then a little bit yellow and um a lot of white and beige and then in the living room I have like that like teal and orange and everything and you know even though teal is probably a little or it's a little bit closer to, to blue actually I think it's more blue in the living room you know it's it's still like a greenish blue and so and then in the family room I I have more of the light green and um and like teals and uh lime greens and everything like that so so there's kind of like a green or like a blue green kind of theme throughout the house and but I didn't want it to be all matching I just wanted to kind of be you know like really fresh and kind of bring the outside in like with the greenery outside and everything like that but so there's some yellows here and there and but mainly it's like blue green <laughs> i guess and then um in the kids room you'll see i i have so the smaller bedroom or the smallest one i decorated for a little girl and of course teenagers can sleep in the kids size beds too or you know they're like regular size beds in the sims so you could put a teenager in there if you want to but the the decor of the of the girls room is a little bit more childlike as opposed to mature so um that, that's why I say for a little girl in in that bedroom but then you'll see once I get to the um the other kids room at first I was decorating it for two teenage girls but I I didn't want it to be a family for only you know like with daughters I wanted there to be at least one boy but I ended up making um the teenagers room for two teenage boys instead of teenage girls and so I just everything that I, I furnished in in that room I just went back and changed the swatches to a more like the more boyish colors if you will um and then um I I honestly I didn't really know what to do like for the balcony type area for the boys room so I just put uh like a a basketball hoop and a basketball and a and a 
boxing what's it like a whatever that thing is that boxing punching bag thing so the, the way i see it is is maybe the boys use that balcony as just like their kind of area to work out like they either play basketball or they use the punching bag or something like that and um and then outside of the parents bedroom i put like a little seating area at first i was going to put the sauna um off the parents balcony but um i didn't want it to be something that only the parents could use so i ended up putting the sauna in between um the two living spaces downstairs you know i figured like whoever doesn't want to go into the ocean or something if they want to take a dip in the sauna then then that's what they can do like i did i didn't want to put a pool or anything because i feel like why would you need a pool when there's the ocean there so but you know of course the ocean the water is not always that warm so maybe they want to take a dip in maybe the kids might want to take a dip in the sauna or something instead of going in the ocean or you know whatever the case may be but um and then i also put like some lounge chairs and everything outside of the game room area so if they want to sunbathe or something like that and then there's also the table outside on the um on the like deck area outside the living room so if they wanted to like if they were eating you know and want to take their food outside and eat at the table outside they could do that yeah so it's just like a family house but a family house that just happens to be on the beach <laughs> and you know have beautiful views and everything like that and I, I didn't want it to look really what's that word like I didn't want it to look like it was a shack or anything like that but at the same time I didn't want it to look super modern so I just kind of went with you know just like regular furniture items like nothing really I don't know what I'm trying to say but like for the for the bedrooms you know i have all those windows on the bottom floor and in the living area and the family room area but upstairs for the for the uh two bedrooms with the balconies i didn't want to put full windows up there because i still wanted to give them a sense of privacy but but you know i figured that those those doors you know with like the slits through them like it gives them just enough privacy but also allows them to still have good views from their bedroom so they could see through the doors to go outside and everything like that and i i felt like it was a good nod at um regular typical like beachy vacation spots and stuff like that so that's why i put those doors on the bedrooms that have the balconies and you know oddly enough i i want to say that one of my um most favorite rooms in this house is the parents bathroom <laughs> i don't know why but i just i think it's so nice like the the colors I chose for that room because it's like a navy blue and then the dark brown and um, like kind of beige or tan colors. At first I was going to go with like a more mauve pink bathroom um, but I couldn't really find things that went with the colors well enough so then I went with the navy blue instead and I really like it. And then I also put a double sink in there and I don't usually do that in my builds but I figured it would be good you know since this is a beach house and everything and um, the master bathroom should have like double sinks for the parents and stuff so even though their bathroom isn't huge i i wanted to at least give them the double sink that's you know i guess very common in most master bathrooms other than that um i do really like the parents bedroom too actually i love that i use again that kind of like mint greenish color and then the gold and white and everything i love how it turned out so i guess like the whole parents a bedroom area is my favorite out of this whole build but um uh, you'll see i actually didn't really know what to do with the landscaping uh so i just kind of put some random coconut trees and um some hibiscus uh bushes and flowers and whatever and uh banana trees and stuff and honestly by the time i got to the landscaping i was just kind of tired of doing this build i know that sounds terrible but i was just I was kind of over it and I was like okay I just want to get this done so I just put enough things so that the yard wasn't completely like empty and stuff and um I didn't want to give them like a car or like a driveway or anything like that because they're literally on like a private island and I was like how are they gonna drive there <laughs> it makes no sense so i didn't give them a driveway or anything and then i also thought about putting um some bikes in the yard but it's hard to ride a bike on sand so i was like no that doesn't really make sense either so that and actually that's part of the reason why i put the boat there or the like little i don't know what the heck it's called that little boat and then also the uh what is that thing called that water oh my gosh i cannot think of what it's called right now Oh my goodness, the other thing that you 
you use to to ride on the water whatever that thing is in the water I forget good lord I cannot think of what it's called right now but I put that there because I figured that's their way of traveling like from their house to get anywhere else like you know since they're on a private island they have to use their water transportation to get to the other islands to get to the store and all that and so so yeah so I didn't put any car so I didn't put any driveway or anything like that and they just use their boat and that other thing oh, jet ski I think that's what it's called right jet ski <laughs> oh my god I could not think of that but yeah so they have like their jet ski and their boat to get from their house to any place else and maybe they have like a car so you know uh, on the other side of the water or something like that that they hold in storage I don't know but um the last thing I did was I actually put a chess table out on the front of the house up on the kind of deck in the front part of the house I I put a a chess table there because I realized I didn't put it anywhere else in the house I completely forgot and I just thought whatever I'll just put it in the front maybe they like to sit there and relax and um you know look at the sunrise or something from that from that side of the house I don't know but yeah I don't really have much else I can say about this build I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I really like that I used the grassy roof or I don't know what it's called. <laughs> oh my god, I'm horrible with this. But, you know, I didn't give them any regular type of roof. I gave them the, like, the one that came with this, the island living pack. I, I gave them, a, like, a, the grass textured roof. So, um, I felt like that was really good in, in giving that look of a nice beach house type of look so yeah there's a lot of screenshots for this house because it is such a big build so I was trying to get as many different angles of all the different rooms and stuff and yeah I guess just uh enjoy the screenshots and I will see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.